Also tonight, authorities in South Carolina are blaming caffeine for a teenager's death. The coroner says the 16-year-old boy collapsed after drinking Mountain Dew, coffee, and an energy drink all within two hours. What we forget is that caffeine is a drug. So how much is too much caffeine, especially when we are talking about teenagers? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Bazan breaks it all down for us. Kids are probably taking in um, more caffeine more quickly. Kathleen Miller is a scientist at UV's Research Institute on Addictions. She's specialized in caffeine for more than a decade and is noticing more and more young people drinking energy drinks like they would soda pop. And that's not a good thing. Energy drinks are about three times stronger than most soft drinks. And this is, by the way, something most parents don't realize. They, they see their kid drinking a Red Bull and they think, eh, it's basically a jacked up Pepsi. According to Miller, most doctors say kids and teens shouldn't take in more than 100 milligrams of caffeine a day, but a typical energy drink already exceeds that amount, and some brands advertise more than twice that much caffeine in their cans. In two hours, 16-year-old Davis Kripe of South Carolina drank one energy drink along with a McDonald's coffee drink and a large soda before collapsing in school and later dying. Different people react to caffeine differently. Um, this was an outlier event, an unusual one, but I think it is a kind of a red flag for a lot of us that we should start taking caffeine a little more seriously. Miller is reminding parents caffeine is a drug and urging them to pay more attention to how much caffeine teens and children are putting in their bodies on a daily basis. The fact that most of the time we're able to use it without hurting ourselves doesn't mean it isn't a drug. It doesn't mean it isn't potentially risky. Um, and it doesn't mean that parents shouldn't be keeping an eye on, on how much caffeine their kids are taking in. Well, these are the three drinks that that 16-year-old had. Uh, we don't know the exact amounts or the exact type or brand of energy drink, but uh, if you take you know, the average amount of caffeine for all these, he was much closer to what doctors say is safe for adults rather than a teen or a child. Josh, did he have any other sort of conditions that would have caused him to have this heart problem? That's sort of the unusual thing that, uh, doc, that m m uh, Ms. Miller was explaining to me is he didn't have, doctors say he didn't have any other kind of condition. It was just from the massive amount of caffeine he had in that short period of time. Now, 100 milligrams of caffeine, that's about what, one cup of coffee? About one cup of and coffee. And that's the, that's the guideline for teens. What is it for adults? Though? For adults, it's, it's four to 500 milligrams five, is what doctors okay. say is safe for adults to have in a given day. All right, wow. Josh, thank you very much.